Do you like hearing about New Year's predictions? Well, then this video is for you because I've got three predictions about the New York City real estate market. My first prediction is that rental prices will continue to go up. People who are advanced in their career and more senior, they're used to working from home and they're comfortable working from home. But you know who isn't? Young graduates, people who are starting out in their career, they need that mentorship and they need to be in the city and they want to be in the city. It's fun. Now, just today in January, I had an email from a colleague who is deluged with inquiries for just one rental. There is no doubt in my mind that if we are busy in January, rental prices are going up this year. My second prediction is a little bit controversial, and I'll tell you right now, I'm going out on a limb with this one. And that is, I do not think that the increase in mortgage rates are going to put that much downward pressure on pricing. And here is why. Although we typically expect that especially properties under $2 million, where the buyers are price sensitive to what their monthly outlay is, we expect those buyers to be under pressure if their monthly mortgage goes up, right? Well, let's factor in the fact that we think rental prices are going up. What will happen? Our pied-a-terre buyers who can afford cash and the investors who are cash will come into the market and stabilize those prices. My third prediction is that inventory will stay balanced. While it is conventional wisdom that we should be looking to the rest of the country because New York City has been trailing the rest of the country in terms of COVID terms, I don't think we're going to see the undersupply that the rest of the nation saw. And here's why. We have a number of new developments. And while that won't make a robust contribution to the housing units that are available for purchase, it will make some and it will make a difference. But now let's bear this in mind. If we have new development coming into the market to mitigate what could be an undersupply situation and make that a balanced situation, that will put upward pressure on pricing because new development is not going to be inexpensive. Additionally, if we see demand continue at the rate it continued at in 2021, even if it slows down, right now we're starting off the year in a balanced inventory position. We started off 2021 in an oversupply, 11,000 units versus 5,800 units right now. I really, really, think that we could see prices going up. Can you tell I'm excited to get going on a new year? I love helping people buy and sell residential real estate in New York City. And the reason is no two transactions are the same. So I'm never, ever bored. There's always a challenge, a pitfall or something to overcome somewhere. Uh, and that's where the fun lies for me. So if you are thinking of transacting, don't go it alone. Reach out to me today. Text me, call me, DM me, whatever works for you. I'm here to help. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching my video. If you're not already a subscriber to the Bolin Team YouTube channel, head over there today. We not only have our Monday market stats, but we also have property tours and other videos that are a lot of fun to watch. Take care.